Hi guys. Well, I have a serious video to do today. I got a phone call last night. It's a scam call from the IRS. And so I, I didn't do anything with it. You know, they were stupid enough to leave a voicemail. So I thought I'd uh, call them today. And let's see how that goes. We'll listen to the voicemail first. This message is from Internal Revenue Service. The very second you receive this message, I need you to return the phone call. The issue at hand is extremely time sensitive and hotline to our division is 202-754-8536. We have received a notice to blacklist your social security number. So don't try to disregard this message and do return the call before we take any legal action. Thank you. Okay, so let's um let's just call them back with the number that I was called from, and that's coming from the Washington DC area. So let's call them back and see what happens. Hello, who am I speaking to? I can't hear you. Um, I got a phone call last night from this number. I can't, I can't hear you. Well, I got a phone call last night. Is this the IRS? They said I'd be in big trouble if I don't call you guys back. Ah, so they hung up on us. Well, isn't that interesting? Maybe we should try calling them back. Maybe we'll get a different operator this time. That was interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, call this other number that they actually gave me to call and see what happens with that one. Anyway, the point being, if you get any of these suspicious calls, don't feed into it. Like, you know, just ignore them or tell them that you know, you know, that you're on to them. So, like I said, another scam is going around with these people, and as you can tell, once again, they're foreign, and you can't even understand what the hell they're saying. Okay, so, and that that uh, that phone number, even though it was the same area code, uh, says it was Alabama. So, that's about it for this video. Just beware, these calls are going around again. And, you know, the IRS never calls you on the phone. They always send you letters in the mail. So, um, I don't know if it would do any good to try to report it to your uh, police department or not. You know, they might put something on the news about it, warning people. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for today. So, everybody have a great weekend. Bye.